I think I need to leave my husband until his daughter is 18. Backstory and characters. I am sorry for the wall of text grimace. I met my husband in 2012. He had two girls aged 5 and 7 that he shared 50-50 custody with mom. I had full custody of son aged 5. What attracted me to him was how amazing he was as a dad and how attentive he was to the people he loved. Family means the world to him. Everything was perfect and wonderful for the most part. His older daughter Molly had a habit of raising her voice at her dad. He is a complete pushover with kids, especially girls, and I am not. I let her know that's not acceptable, don't yell at dad. I only had to remind Molly a few times. She was ultimately a great kid, and I loved her a bunch. I think this is where her distaste for me started. Enter my in-laws. I d never had much family and honestly I was hoping they'd love me and my son. I really wanted to be a part of this family. I invited his mom to lunch at least once or twice a week, I was always turned down. Brought her gifts occasionally, dried flower bouquets, fruits and veggies from the farmer's market every time I went. Never a thank you. Not once. So about a year into the relationship I stopped trying to fit in and just focused on our little unit at home. I was a little hurt, but I never had family so I'm not missing what I never had right. I didn't let it bother me. They had the girls every other weekend, and a few overnights a week in the beginning of our relationship because my husband worked a lot. About six months after we moved in together they stopped going so much because I could watch them now. In-laws were pissed. The girls were upset, but we were trying to form a normal family unit. The girls still went over pretty regularly though to play. And in-laws would come by and pick the girls up for a movie, and leave my son. They'd pick girls up to go snowmobiling, and leave my son. They'd pick girls up to take pictures, and leave my son. You get it. After two years of this I put my foot down and forced my, by then, fiancé to stand up for us. I'm sick of making excuses for your parents, they can take all three or they take none. So that's what he told them. Instead of just including my son, they started just picking the girls up from their mom's house instead. So they could bypass dad's new boundaries and keep excluding my son. Additionally, whenever dad did anything with the girls he got questioned by his mother. Molly was reprimanded for something and told grandma. Dad got spoken to. His other daughter got punished for doing something wrong. Dad got spoken to. Dot one day both of his parents were on the phone asking him to explain why he didn't take the kids to the fair that night. He was made to explain his reasoning for doing everything. Given advice at every point and every decision was picked apart. It was bananas. It still is. They have separate b-day parties for the girls and go school shopping for them it's as if they are the girls' parents. I won't ever understand his mindset that he has no say over what his children do. Like Easter break the girls had 10 days off, they spent one with dad and six with grandparents. He was on vacation that week and it hurt him very much. He didn't say anything to them. Molly, the oldest, knows if she complains to grandma that dad will get spoken to. Not only by grandma, but now her aunt, dad's sister, has started in on dad too. Mom and sister are very close. They started tag-teaming dad about a year ago. Last month, the whole family was headed to a theme park, everyone was going. Grandma invited the girls, but never invited or even told dad. This was grandma, grandpa, both of the girls' aunts and their kids and both of the girls. Dad was really hurt, he told everyone the girls are not going, this has gotten insane. At that point dad made new rules. Only one overnight a month, if you want to go to their house I'll be the one to take you. Molly was angry. For almost 10 years this has been our life, nothing much has changed. I refuse to attend any holiday functions or birthday parties at their house because they've alienated my son. My husband still goes, it's up to my now 14 year old if he wants to go. Their excuse by the way used to be, we don't want to get attached to your son in case things don't work out, today the excuse is, we just don't have the history we have with the girls. Dot. Fast forward to a few months ago, the girl's mom stated very suddenly that she's moving from where we live in NY, to North Dakota. Literally across the country. Girls don't want to leave school, friends, family. So they move in with dad in June. Molly, 15 now, and her sister need a chore since they live here full time now. After a month, and me reminding dad, they had no chores still. But my son does. Dad is scared to say anything to Molly because maybe she'll want to move away with her mom if he does. She's allowed to lay in bed literal 19 hours a day watching TV and eating while my son mows grass, does the trash and helps with other chores. No way. 
There is no preferential treatment in my home. Kids need chores, so we had a fight. She heard me say, do something about your lazy fucking daughter. Yes, not my best moment, and the first time I've ever said said something like that. But man, it was years of favoritism towards the girls, and special treatment by everyone while my son gets to watch and I can't do anything about it. Now it's happening in his home too? I was livid. So she of course calls grandma crying, I'm uncomfortable come get me. Grandma naturally texts dad and lets him know he's doing a shit job. And Molly tells dad she's going to North Dakota to live with her mom because she hates me, she's always hated me and my son. Oh, wow. Okay. Mom and dad always let the kids decide whose house they want to go to. If she goes to North Dakota, her little sister will go too, they are very close. Her little sister is the sweetest most lovable thing on the planet. The best kid ever seriously. Dad finally gets a chance to live full time with his kids, and try to be a dad for the last few years. Between his mom and his ex he'd missed so much time with them he was thrilled and excited to get this opportunity. Should I leave until Molly is 18? I feel like the girl's home base is here, friends, family school, their entire support system. They are just kids, who have been allowed to decide when and where they go their whole lives. Their mom has zero rules and they can come and go as they please. Wouldn't it be selfish of me to stay? Knowing Molly and her sister will leave to an environment like that? My husband is against me leaving but doesn't want to lose the kids. He'll support me monetarily in another apt if it comes to that. TLR my 15-year-old stepdaughter is throwing an absolute fit. If I don't leave she'll move across the country breaking dad's heart. What do I do please heartbreak? Your son should be your priority. Your husband obviously needs to grow a backbone before he becomes your ex-husband. This will not stop when they turn 18. Children are for life as you know and it's not guaranteed they'll be out at that age. Show him you're serious about leaving and don't feel bad. If anything, you've done your son a disservice by putting up with this for so long. Actually, it would be foolish to stay and keep your son in that unhealthy situation. The fact that their dad also gets taken advantage of by his entire extended family just reinforces your son being unequal to the girls. How on earth have you stayed this long? I would have had to leave when it became clear that my son and I were never going to be considered equal and my husband was never going to stand up for us. Molly has been given a terribly good education in manipulation. Her parents and grandparents have done her no favors by teaching her that she doesn't need to be considerate of anyone or do anything she doesn't feel like doing. It's really a shame but you aren't going to be able to change it. Yes, you should move out. You and your son might find that you like not being second-class citizens in your own home. If, after your son is on his own, you still want to return to this marriage, that can be decided then. This is a lot to think about, and I'm also tired. The one thing that springs to mind is that you need to speak to your son about this. It sounds like he's been getting shafted for years. If he wants to stay, you need to stay. If he wants to leave, you should leave. And consider if you ever want to go back to your husband. My God, he needs to grow a backbone. It sounds like you've handled things as well as you could, but it still sounds miserable. I hope you and your son are able to find peace and happiness. I mean staying with him for so long and making your son suffer so much is the most selfish part of this whole story. He's been alienated and left out his entire life. You could have found a man with a much better family who would never make him feel that way. I suspect your son will need lots of therapy and emotional support once he reaches adulthood. You need to get your son out of there and get him a real support system. By God, do better for your son. Who cares about your husband when you've more or less ruined your son's childhood? Let him and his bratty daughters live by themselves for a bit and don't go back to the man who allowed his family to put your son through this emotional torture since he was a child. You saw all this go down yet you thought, yup he's the one. Family therapy. Needs so much therapy. All the therapy. Everything you've said you request and have done sounds reasonable. Your husband sounds like he has some big boundary issues it would be a huge help to everyone if he could. 1. Speak to a therapist one-on-one -on -one for some help learning how to set and maintain boundaries and expectations. 2. Attend marriage counseling with you, couples therapy with you. 3. Family therapy with you and his kids, you and your son, with just his kids, etc. 4. Have the girl speak to a therapist one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe your son, too he must have feelings and thoughts about all of this. This is a messy situation. Get thee to the therapies. Yellow heart. Your son is probably suffering and none of this is fair to him. Leave for his sake, and don't go back. 
You've been through ten years of hell because of that child and your husband. If he hasn't stuck up for you now, he never will. Husband masturbating to pics of my friends. Hi. I'm currently eight months pregnant with my third child. Been with my husband for ten plus years. Two or so married. He's a great dad. He took pictures of us on a boat trip a couple weeks ago on his phone and I instantly deleted a couple at the time because I felt like I looked ugly in them. Fast forward to tonight. I was looking through his pics on his phone to find all the pics and pick one I liked best. Long story short. I discovered a bunch of pictures of my close girlfriends, bikini pics and raunchy pics from one of the girls' bachelorette trips. I was really confused and asked him why he had those pics. He told me he masturbated to them, I'm so shocked confused and hurt. These are girls who are my close girlfriends and significant others of his close guy friends. A tight group who is often together. I asked him why. Like why not just look at porn or something else and he told me he likes to fantasize but that he only has done it a handful of times and felt guilty after. I am going through a bunch of emotions. I feel mortified, confused sad and hurt and unsure of our future marriage situation. Mind you. This whole pregnancy he's also been not into me. Like not trying to have sex foreplay anything. I have had to initiate it the only times it has happened. He claims because he's weirded out by a baby being between us. Which could be true but it just made me feel worse from seeing that he's currently masturbating to pics of our friends. I don't really know where to go from here. And for moving forward, like when we have a get together with our friends or outing with a couple. I don't know how I will feel. Or in general being around my close girlfriends knowing my husband was doing that. Ah I just want to hear from anyone else who has gone through something similar. If my girl told me she masturbated to pictures of my friends, I honest to god think I would end it. How the fuck can we see my friends after this? That would make me feel so insecure. That's really messed up I'm sorry he did that. Big red flag. It's incredibly weird and disrespectful to masturbate to pictures of your s. O's friends or your friends s. Oh. I can guarantee if they were aware of it, they'd be really uncomfortable and that friendship would be over. I'm really shocked by his honesty too. I'm sure it's appreciated, but does he not see anything wrong with it? Are you willing to look past it for your baby? Are you confident in your relationship knowing your husband is sexually attracted to your friends? Big red flag of disrespect especially considering the lack of attention you are getting. However, the fact that he is being, somewhat, honest with you is a bit of a cushion. Hugs and good luck. I'd probably leave my husband. I couldn't get past that. I'd be beyond insecure for sure. It probably excites him more because there's a personal connection, for this type of case, IDK how it could be much worse. I'm also sure your friends would feel upset, angered, uncomfortable or even sick to their stomachs with this. You deserve better for sure. Yeah everyone I know who has gone through something similar and what I've seen on Reddit. It just gets worse. At best, they hide it better until you discover it years later and you feel like an even bigger fool for not leaving the first time you discovered it. At worst, he is callous and you stay and suffer and cry the entire time. Or you can leave now. So uh up to you. This is one step away from the trashy tendency to cheat on a pregnant wife, just as she is at her most vulnerable. He doesn't even seem ashamed of it. Get him to counseling so he can be told he should be ashamed. Way to step up to fatherhood jerk. Well, he's still what you've got to work with. Tell him to stop masturbating and step up satisfying the actual wife he already has. Put him to work in his spare time preparing the nest. Also, consider getting some nice professional photos of yourself right now so you don't have this notion that pregnancy makes you less attractive. Later on you'll be aware that you were beautiful pregnant and be amazed you ever thought differently. Don't let his problem with sex affect you. That is disgusting. Your friends are not his women. He need to learn how to love. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. He is in his own la-la land and sadly he finds these unpregnant friends of yours all that. Good thing you saw it. And see what an idiot he is too. He doesn't want a wife and family, he wants a friend's fun spark park. I hope he outgrows it before the baby is in a toddler size. Congrats. I am jealous of my boyfriend female co-worker. So. 
First things first, I am pretty protective and possessive type of a girlfriend. Yes I know. But this is not a problem here. We both agreed that this type of relationship is okay for us. My problem here is that I would like to see what could the root of the problem be inside of me and how I am and how can I fix it and deal with it because some things we cannot affect and my boyfriend could not affect on with who he will work. I know that he cannot do anything about having or not having female co-workers, but what can I do to deal with this easier? There have been certain problems with his job before where he was hiding another female co-worker and hanging out with her without me knowing. Keeping it as a secret from me until I found out about her and messages between them. So yay. Now I have a fear that any female interaction is gonna end up like that and that he is gonna hide it away from me. We did talk many times about this situation and he said that he will not do the same thing as he did before but I do not trust him no matter what he says about it based on our previous experiences. And I believe that this is understandable reaction from my side. But I cannot keep killing myself every single day for 8 hours what is he doing at work? Does he like her? What if he eventually ends up with her? I just want to make my life easier for myself but I cannot escape these thoughts and they make my daily life and tasks unmanageable. Any advice of what I could do for myself would be very appreciated. Thank you. You should fight her. Winner gets your BF. He's hiding because you're possessive. If you work on your possessiveness and can demonstrate you've changed them maybe he'll stop hiding. Possessiveness comes from insecurities. Seeing a counselor might help address the issues behind your insecurities. You say it's not a problem because you've both agreed it's okay. But if he's hidden normal things that's most others don't have a problem sharing. Then your possessiveness is a problem. Reading this and all the comments, y'all both need to go to therapy. Your relationship is heading nowhere good. Jerry Jerry Jerry. I don't trust him no matter what he says about it, okay nope. There's no trust, there's no relationship. You gotta work out your insecurities, and he's gotta work on hiding female co-workers away. And both of y'all gotta work on that stuff alone. To me this relationship is doomed and there's no way you can be a good girlfriend if you're this possessive. No trust equals no relationship, period. You shouldn't have to second guess every interaction he has with co-workers and he shouldn't have to prove himself to you every single moment of every single day that he's not doing anything inappropriate with a co-worker. Honestly after reading your post and your replies to a number of comments it is painfully obvious that you need therapy especially if you are determined to stay in this relationship. I am concerned because some of what you are describing sounds like emotional abuse directed at your boyfriend. If you can never forgive him for his betrayal, then you need to consider ending the relationship. Honestly your jealous nature is probably why he didn't tell you about his female co-worker. Either you can trust him or not. There isn't an in-between. 23M, my S.O. is a part of a popular fetish website and it makes me uncomfortable. Basically my S.O. is on a popular social fetish site, which she had described as a cool place for people to talk about kinks. I sadly let curiosity get the best of me and made an account to find out most of the people use the site to hook up with people and have IRL meetups. I also found her profile. Being able to see her kinks and what not and seeing she's friends with much older better looking men that she's met in real life is very disheartening especially because she hasn't been interested in me sexually in recent times. It feels as if I'm just here for us to live together and not to be with as a partner with full commitment. In my opinion people would normally delete or deactivate something like this when getting into a serious relationship. Unless of course their partner is into it as well. I for one didn't even know sites like this existed and IDK man it makes me uncomfortable. Especially because my significant other only adds people who they've met IRL. Too long did not read. I should have let ignorance be bliss but curiosity got the best of me and now I am insecure and am worried about whether or not I'm the right partner for them. Edit. They haven't been active on the site since before we started dating but they're in a regional discord involving kinks and fetishes and whatnot. If it's fetlife you're talking about or something similar I don't think you have a lot to worry about. Also you said she's not active on the site anymore. I have a fetlife account that I keep to keep in contact with old friends. Just because she's met the people in real life does not mean she's had sex with them. Jumping on the train of people saying FetLife is not a dating site. Most friends I have on there I haven't fucked and wouldn't fuck. I use it to read writings, keep up to date with events, and as a place of like-minded people to talk about specific and sometimes odd kinks without people getting weirded out. Try having an open really with her about sex and the root of you guys not fucking. She might just not have the energy right now. Why hasn't she been into you sexually? Was it out of the blue? 
If so I would worry about it. Ask her about the lack of intimacy also does she share her kinks with you? If not encourage her to and try out her kinks in bed. Did I miss the part where you asked her about her kinks and offered ways to perhaps engage with her in this way? If her kinks are not something you can participate in, I would lean toward closing off this chapter as it appears you are not going to be sexually compatible in the long run. Yeah, people in committed relationships aren't still in contact with people like that. Especially ones they've met up with IRL. You know now what she likes. Have you tried to do some of the things she mentioned on this site? Sorry but my significant other talking about kinks, sex with someone else would be an instant deal breaker. It's okay if that's a deal breaker for you too. My husband and I still have our Florida profiles. Hell, we met on there. But we are extremely secure in our marriage. Sounds like you're not secure enough. Unfortunate.